Ladies and gentle ducks, we is headed back over to Jake's again. Now I'll update you guys on the race car. As of today, we have 30 days until the day we leave for King of Hammers. So there's still a ton to be done on the car. Like pretty much all the electrical work. I think we have to mount the winch. You guys want to hear some turbo sounds? I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, we'll try it again. All right, truck, turbo sounds, engage. <laughs> Gotta concentrate on that. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. We have 30 days left for King until we leave for King of Hammers. Um, that includes, the car has to be 100% done by then. But it's getting there. So, what I still have to do, I still have to buy SFI gloves. I still have to buy sturdy leather boots. I think maybe just wearing my work boots. I don't know how those will pass tech. Almost, I went and tried on some moccasins today. You know, that's funny, moccasins. Me wearing moccasins, anyways. Um, but they weren't. They don't cover enough of the ankle, and that's what I think Tech's gonna kind of be curious about. So, I already got a fire suit, thanks to old Jake. Today, I tried test fitting the razor on my razor deck, because it won't be able to go in the enclosed. So, I have a razor de deck that I built a while ago. I'll show you guys probably in another video or something. But, I test fit my razor on there, and it, the old that razor deck is built for my old turbo. And the, the new Turbo S don't fit on it. It's too wide. You got one tire up on the railing and everything. It's a mess. But we are going to probably end up modding that to fit. Ooh. Yeet! Crank the steering wheel. Here's the car, here's a better look at it. Right here. So the rear bumper, still working on that. You can see the Trinity exhaust right there. But he built this cool stand, table thing, right here. Holds the razor up so you can have all the suspension off of it. Here's what we did with the Trinity, so we could retain all the factory heat shielding. See, wrote Trinity right there. So we can retain all the factory heat shielding, um, especially up here, because we had a bunch of tabs. You know, you gotta make these, make all these tabs to go on that exhaust right there or just cut the stock one make two tabs so that way we still retain all the factory heat shielding still need to make the front bumper no winch mount yet we gotta fab that up fab up a front bumper all the uh, hcr suspension components are off with the cage at tag coatings getting powder coated not all right now really it's changed i mean he's been fabbing up this cool rear bumper so that we can still maintain visibility out of this camera or out of the backup camera and then it'll tie in with this uh, radius rod plate. So when installing your aftermarket assassins charge pipe we have right here in the AA goodie box. You know, all the stuff. You don't need the instructions. We'll just put those over here next to the other piece of plastic. But you've got this rubber piece, these two hose clamps, this rubber piece, this rubber piece, and these two hose clamps, and you're gonna need a 7 16 in case anybody's wondering why that's sitting there. Okay, so you yeah, undo these two. Undo your sensor, uh, cut the hose to your, your blow-off valve, undo the clamp up here on the turbo, undo that hose that goes, the vents the blow-off valve, the air from the blow-off valve back to the intake. And then, you take, and you, you remove your bed, because you're now working on a race car, and you gotta, <laughs> and then you gotta get this out somehow. Which is,
before I forget. I'll put the hose clamp on. Maybe you guys remembered, but I sure didn't. There we go. on this dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, just getting off center. <laughs> you making an oval hole? Yeah. <laughs> now these wheels will actually fit on anything. <laughs> Versus only ZRP wheel spaced razors. Or a Can-Am. Yeah. So these wheels are just gonna be full mod. Yes. <laughs> now they'll actually work for Can-Am and Razor. Oh, what a pain in the balls. <laughs> is this the last one or is there? One more. Do you just clamp it to the wheel and then drill that? Um, set the plate behind it, marked them, drilled them, and then set them on the... Um, <laughs> it really is gonna work perfectly. Still fighting this charge pipe, in case you were wondering. I gotta undo this clamp, because it keeps pushing this guy out, but now I realize why. It's because the clamp's on the hose crooked. But now I'm trying to get this intake piece off, the one that goes from the air box to the turbo. I'm trying to get it off, so that I can get to those hose clamps a little easier. I was gonna try and do some like how-to videos on this, like with this car, because it's new, you know, it's Pro XP. But I got no idea what I'm doing. And uh, where it's a race car, it's not really the same as doing an install on a stock car. <laughs> like on a stock car, you wouldn't have these two tubes right here and here for the tire carrier. And you probably, well, with the Pro XP, you can pull the bed out like pretty easily to work on there. So that, yeah, maybe I'm still a little bit accurate with it. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep plugging away at this and uh, See what I can get done, see what I can get accomplished. You guys are welcome to continue watching because I would appreciate it. This is the slowest zoom camera I've ever had. No focus in there. There you go, there's a the little turbo wheel. But yeah, as of right now, we have 30 days and a lot of work to do on that. Once Jake gets everything back from powder coat, it all should just pretty much be bolt-on. There's a lot of wiring because we still have to do the comms, air pumper for the helmet, the navigation, lights for like the chase light, and for the Baja Designs light bar he's got on the roof. And there is... What else? Well, we have to do plumb the radiator still. We got the mounts and everything figured out. You guys seen that. Still have to plumb that, which is what all these hoses are. Can't start it, so can't see if it's gonna have any boost leaks or anything. 